We have a health watch for you tonight. Maryland prides itself on being a coastal state with the Chesapeake Bay watershed being a focal point of the state's economy and tourism. But a recent nationwide study shows Maryland has an alarming level of what's known as forever chemicals in the waterways. That's right. Fox 45's Amy Simpson joins us live with what she's learning about them tonight. Amy? Yeah, so over the last six to eight months or so, we've done reports on bacteria concerns specifically related to Baltimore City's waterways and water systems. But this new study is ringing the alarm about another water pollutant found statewide. An unseasonably warm day along the Jones Falls. But in these waters are certain pollutants catching the attention of the Baltimore Harbor waterkeeper. PFAS is one of those forever chemicals. It's unbreakable. PFAS, also called forever chemicals, are manufactured chemicals that don't break down. Often found in things like nonstick pans, food wrappers, and water resistant fabrics. These pollutants reportedly harmful to humans. And a recent study by the National Waterkeeper Alliance takes a closer look at where these chemicals are found across the country. But of all the samples tested nationwide, Maryland's waterways had the highest level of these forever chemicals, detected 134 times. We need to do more concerted monitoring to figure out where contamination is happening so that we can fix the problem. Alice Volpita with Blue Water Baltimore, the harbor's waterkeeper, says her team tested two spots along the Jones Falls as part of the study. And we decided to do a study upstream and downstream of a fire station in Ruxton. And that's because fire stations use firefighting foam, which traditionally have PFAS contaminants in them. Those data points, she says, did show a higher level of pollutants downstream. But the city's water samples were far from the most alarming. A look at samples from waterways around Maryland shows the highest level of these forever chemicals detected in Piscataway Creek under the umbrella of the Potomac Riverkeeper. It's kind of nice to have a waterway in Baltimore City not top the list of you know contaminated waterways in Maryland. That being said, we're all in this together. And so no matter where those high levels are coming from, we have to address the problem at its root. Just last week, Mayor Brandon Scott's office announced a new lawsuit filed by the city of Baltimore against 20 manufacturers of products with forever chemicals. Baltimore joining other cities across the country, taking legal action against companies for allegedly allowing these contaminants to come in contact with our waterways. Baltimore also has a lot of other challenges with its water and wastewater systems that we obviously need to get a handle on. But it's good to see Baltimore City standing up for its residents and holding polluters accountable. So knowing that just two locations in the Jones Falls were tested for forever chemicals here in Baltimore City, I asked Blue Water Baltimore where they would choose to sample next. They said they would sample the water that's flowing into the city's water filtration plants to see exactly what type of pollutants need to be extracted from our drinking water. Reporting live tonight, Amy Simpson, Fox 45 News.